Okay, guys, I'm back with Chester. I found two paper towels, and I just am barely getting out of the house alive with our shoe bottom getting out here. I'm just giving you these terrible looks, so I've got to do this pretty quick before she destroys the whole house. So what I've got is this just vibrating collar that the dog's already conditioned in obedience with. So I'm thinking to myself, and he already just, and I only, I would probably still be languishing with him pushing his nose on it if he had not seen the other dog do it and figured it out. So and he's so eager to do it. If he could, if he wasn't figuring it out, it would have been me because he's trying to do anything, putting on a whole damn show. Boom, boom. There's got to be that sequence. Boom, boom. Maybe from the beginning, you know, once I put a train to retrieve on him, I never pick it up off the ground again. And I mean, this dog just jumped ahead. I've only been doing it for like a week. But I think maybe it's better to start that standard right away. Yeah, but my job really, honestly, is to try to get it in the beginning. If you said the first hundred times you were able to get it before he dropped it, I'd say I was doing good. So I'm adding that abruptness in the turn on the return. You know, from there I could throw it, but he's doing so good with this. Boom, boom. So, I mean, I, I'd, pro I'd probably be smart, honestly. After I was thinking about it, you know, if you're going to really be directional, you should maybe in the beginning go that way, too. Because they are. Dogs are going to be right or left-sided. They're going to have a predilection to go or turn a certain way. So I'm doing a good job catching it. You know, we're meeting at the end. That's what he's kind of understanding. I think you kind of have to use the platform. These, you guys, I got on Amazon for like 63 bucks. Amazon Prime. Ah! All right, so I got to make him get it. And he actually beat me over there. That's why I didn't get it. And the bulldog was in the way. He said, you know, he understands we're meeting right there. I, th I think that's better. I, I, I think it's way harder to try to do it just to get them to deliver to hand without this. Because this, they just think they're going over there anyway. All right, so they'll do a couple this direction, too. Okay. Okay. Now he expects to be paid right away. And you should expect to pay right away. I'm just super happy with what this puppy's doing because, you know, it was by accident, but not in his mind. I mean, he saw what I was trying to, and they were all kind of crowding around, and he's kind of got the idea, you know, maybe, but he does understand bigger is better. You know, he'll be, I'm sure, you know, very, the type that just leaps off. He'll be a nachos. He's a nachos. Anyway, that's where I'm at with this one. I'm going to be right back with the other one. And if you said, how are you using the collar? I really wasn't using it right there, but I'm going to show you how I do use it. He 
seems to understand. I think he's got some understanding, you know, but I've never played tug or anything. He is understanding that I want that. He's not thinking any, he's not thinking in any adversarial way. So, anyway, guys, I'll be right back with the other one. But, yeah, I'm super, super happy with the way this, uh, you know, this puppy is doing. So, uh-oh, I'm going to watch me. All right.